Okay, and we're back. Welcome back to, uh, whatever this game was called. <laughs> it's been, I think, two weeks since I last uploaded. Um, and that's because of this quarantine thing. Everybody stay safe. And that's all I'm going to say about that. Okay, so, when we last left off, we were with our boy Yuki here. The boy. Yuki. Here. And basically what happened was they saw the rumor on the forum. And now things are slowly starting to progress. When uh, Kane came in the room, she thought she saw Shino when Shino was not in the room. So something is with Yuki as far as we can tell. So yeah, now we cut to the outside. So now, <coughs> I'll try my best with the voice acting. I'm not sick anymore. I was sick before, but not anymore. Kind of. <laughs> it's allergy season, <laughs> but I'm okay. <laughs> anyway, um, so Yuki here. Nobody felt like they were being watched since then. Nah. Maybe I think too seriously. It was the Akane Senpai. I'm sure she just saw somebody by mistake. <laughs> what is he trying to say? <laughs> mm -hmm. Nobody is here, right? <laughs> Oof. Yikes. Okay, that was loud. Hey, Moko-chan. Oh, Yuki-kun. Hi, Miss Ito. You're out of school, huh? How's your mom doing? Oh, she's been good, thanks. Mo Moko-chan? Sorry about that. It's not like you, baby. You love Yuki-kun, right? What's wrong, baby? That's a crazy dog. It don't bite. <laughs> okay. Mm. Oh. Wow. The sound effects are more this time. I wonder what she's barking at. Man, I wish we could see the dog. We just see the stupid little chain there or whatever. Uh, I mean leash. Maybe there's a cat hiding around here. Hey, Moko-chan! Ah, Miss Ito. I gotta go now. Actually, my mom asked me to get something. Okay. Moko-chan must be in a bad mood today. Sorry. No problem. Will you play with her again sometime? Gotta say bye to Yuki-kun, baby! Have a good one. Sorry, Moko-chan. I'll see you soon. That's a rabid dog out there. No way. It's following me? Nah, it's just a coincidence. No, I've heard rumors that like dogs and cats can see things that are not human, so that's very possible. Moko-chan is somehow in a bad mood today. What am I gonna do? Is this the rumor on the forum? Maybe I should tell Akane Senpai and Shino Senpai about this. Yes, you should absolutely tell them. That's not even an option. I'll tell them. If I do, we might be able to solve this rumor. Wait, 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 wait a second. Did I pick the wrong option? If I pick the wrong option, it's not a big deal. I got... Oh, Wi-Fi is turned off, so there won't be commercials, even if I did put the wrong option. So I'm, I'm pretty sure this makes logical sense. Like, they literally investigate this stuff. The first thing they should think of is, oh yeah, there's something going on, you know? That's what I would tell in this situation. That's what the first thing I'd think of. I'd be like, oh yeah, it must be a rumor. Somebody's going to be affected by this rumor. Please keep a diligent eye out. Tell us if, if it affects any of you other guys, you know? I assume Akane, or Shino is the, the president. She should be more proactive, you know? It's just like in Jojo's Bizarre Adventure when clearly there's a stand user by nearby and something's happening that can only be done by a stand user and they're just like that's just natural whatever and it's the last minute they're like a stand user oh my god that's stupid just assume everybody's a stand user unless proven otherwise 
guilty until proven innocent. That's what it should be. But you know what? This is a game. <laughs> Wait a minute. Hi there. Anybody online now? Yeah. What's up, Yuki? Maybe. I might have been followed by someone in the rumor posted on the forum. <gasps> what? Tell me more. Where are you now? Well, I'm on my way back home. Can you come back to school now? Where's your house? Let's see. Do you know where the children's park by the bakery is? It's a little distance from the school. You mean Tun Tunbo Park? I know where that's at. I'll tell you more about it there. Okay. No, oh, maybe... Maybe that was a bad idea. If it was both, maybe I'd be okay with it. But just Akane by herself, as we know from the last chapter, she tends to attract death. But we'll see. Whatever. Like I said, if I have to go back, I'll go back. It's not a big deal. I asked her to come. What if I'm just paranoid? It's okay, you guys can go on a little date. Not that I ship it. I don't. If it was, she will come for nothing. But I'm sure she won't get mad at me. I need to stop worrying about it and just tell her. Hey! Akane Senpai, thanks for coming. All the- Watch out! <laughs> if it was both of them, I shouldn't have been where I was right to be worried. God damn it. She's dead. <laughs> She's dead. Ah. Bad end. Yeah, thanks. How far did I get into this? Six minutes in, and I already messed up. Ah, uh, redo it. <laughs> what am I gonna do? Is this the rumor on the front? Maybe I should tell Akane Senpai. Senpai, she knows Senpai about this. Well, don't do it. <laughs> nope, I still don't know yet. More importantly. <laughs> No, I don't know anything is wrong, even though there was apparition near me earlier in school and the dog was barking. Nope, I don't know anything yet. More importantly, if it's actually following me, I might get the two of them involved. Literally, if it was following me, they should, they should have gotten involved from the start, but whatever. I'll see it, I'll see it a little bit more. Yuki's in a hurry going home. Meanwhile, no, 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 fam. I don't have Wi-Fi on, so I'm not going to join the ad. Yo, that's a sketchy elevator. I'm home. I hope nobody's followed me. Please live on the first floor, you can <laughs> Well, you don't. Get in the elevator. Yeah, I was- didn't I say this last in the last upload that there was more choices here? Yep, this proves it. There are more choices. Do I want to get in the elevator? Everything in my- this very existence, my very soul is telling me, do not get in the elevator. Even in real life, I always opt to go to the stairs instead of the elevator. Unless it's more than like five floors up, then, then I have no choice. <laughs> this is why you need to exercise kids, don't be like me. If it's more than five stories, then I, I usually take the elevator, but I will be like in the corner of the elevator and like ready to jump. Because I, I remember hearing somewhere that jumping helps alleviate like the impact or whatever. I don't know. I'm sure there's a YouTube video proving me wrong, but in my mind, if I jump the moment of impact when an elevator is falling, I'll be fine. No problem. But anyway, I'm just gonna say don't. I'm not scared. Not scared, but I'm scared. I'm just gonna go to the stairs this time. The elevator might stop all of a sudden. That's a possibility. That's true. That's so true. Ah, those those stairs is creepy. Oops, I forgot to check the mailbox. I was too into myself, huh? Oh well, getting back again. <laughs> Yuki is a mood and a half. <laughs> I live on the third floor myself. There's no elevators in my building, but if I'm like halfway up the stairs and I'm like, oh, I forgot to check the mail, I'm usually just nah. I'll check it whenever I come out next, which could be the next day, the same day, or a couple of days later. Who knows? I see somebody coming up. What? Did I pick the wrong option again? I'll go check the mailbox box later. 
that night. Was that the right option? They would have told me right away if I was wrong. It seems like it's okay. So that means you're involved in the rumor, Yuki? Okay, you, s you told them at the end anyway? Okay, what the- Okay. Okay, I'm not angry. This music's hella loud in my ears, but that's fine. <laughs> if I had to pick which background music so far were the most annoying, it'd be the, the one from the initial background music, like the little peppy one from the classroom that they are in, the club room. This one would be my second most hated. It's still better than the other one, but I don't like it. But we're glad that you're okay. Sorry, I didn't tell you guys about this. You're supposed to tell us right away. Yeah. I was afraid that I was going to get the two of you involved with this. What are you talking about? It doesn't matter. Right, you should know that we'd never think that way. Yep. I was the one who got you involved in the previous rumor. That's true, you did. You got them both involved very, very much. No, actually not Shino. It was Yuki, right. I forgot. I forget everything. Yo, why are you still in your school uniform? I'm sure I'll feel more relaxed with them, but what if something bad happened to them? Or what if something happened to them? I wouldn't like that even more. Yuki, you gotta rely on us, okay? You know what? You always help us. Okay. Thanks, Kanem Senpai, Shino Senpai. Now let's find out if there's any clues. I'll ask the Senpai who told me about this rumor for more details. What should I do? Let me see. Maybe you should just rest now. I think so too. I don't want anything to happen to you lacking sleep, just like what happened to that soccer club student that you talked to. That soccer club student that you talked to? I forgot about that rumor. <laughs> How did that rumor go again? Didn't he get run over? I can't remember. Or he, maybe he almost got run over. I don't remember. Whatever. Okay, alright. You might be me mentally tired, but just don't push yourself too much, okay? So, just take some rest for today, and let's get all the info together tomorrow, okay? Got it. We'll do. Thanks for your time. See you tomorrow. Okay, I gotta go to bed early tonight. <laughs> Me when I go to bed at 12 o'clock as opposed to 1 or 2 in the morning. I wonder if I can go to sleep though. Nope, they're trying hard, investigating for me. I gotta sleep as I was as I was told. What about homework? You've got a desk over there. What are, when are you doing your homework, brah? Ah, there we go. You sleep in a sweater like that? Okay, I guess it's, it's nice to see you wearing something different, I guess. Uh, I'm gonna keep going. It, this video might be longer than the last one, but... I'll try to keep it under 20 minutes, but I want to see what's going to happen next. Because it's still possible that the choosing the stairs is actually still a bad, bad end. Okay, but I gotta be diligent. Okay, I wonder if this rumor... I wonder if, if this rumor, as it's posted on the forum in the first place, the rumor posted on the forum become true. But I wonder if this rumor is a, is as it's posted on the forum in the first place. The rumors posted on the forum became true, become true, even if there was a rumor saying someone is here. Oh my god, the grammar is, uh, you know what, the grammar is bad, but it's still, I, I still kind of understand it. It's good enough. Okay, what is posted on the forum could could happen when it is actually posted. <laughs> that makes it seem a little confusing. Nah, you know what, no. Plus, if the rumor existed but was not posted on the forum, those who got involved in the rumor will actually will have an accident before long. That means if I'm already involved in this rumor, what can I what what I can do now is try not to have an accident, I guess. He's gonna fall out of bed and hit his head wrong. <laughs> Sheesh. It's too quiet to sleep. I guess I'll get some fresh air. I'll just open the window a little. I hope the rain won't come from in from the balcony. God. I don't feel like I can sleep tonight. They say we can go to sleep if we count sheep. I've heard that the pronunciation of sleep and sheep are so similar that it has a hypnotic effect. 
in that case there might not be any effect if we do that in Japanese. <laughs> At least the, <laughs> the translator got that right. Hmm. What am I thinking? Me when I try to go to sleep every night. Hmm? What time is it now? What was that? I heard somebody pulling the chair. Somebody's in my room. Mom? Dad? They keep the light up so they won't wake me up? Nope. Someone is here. What am I gonna do? Oh. Oof, I remember this. I remember this. I think this is where I stopped. Not, I mean, I chose one of the options and then I stopped playing it and then I ended up deleting the, the app because it was taking up a lot of space on my old phone. Now I have a new phone that has the same amount of space but it's a newer phone. Oh, what am I talking about? My tangents. Sometimes I don't know. Anyway, what I'm trying to say is I, I picked one of these options but it was the wrong option and I remember thinking it was the opposite of what I thought was going to happen. Now, let me reason through this. I, opening my eyes makes me see what's going to happen. Like, Yuki will see what's uh, going on, but can he stop what's going on? I don't know. Keeping my eyes closed, that seems like a safe option. That was the right option last time, but is it the right option this time? I think opening my eyes is probably the better option this time. It's the opposite of what we did last time. So, Bonsai, let's go. I'm sure I saw it here. My cell phone. Yep. Got it. Oh my god, what the poof is that? The next day. Did he die? Did Yuki just die? Did I pick the wrong option? So you couldn't sleep until this morning after all? Nope. I was sure that I wouldn't be able to sleep. Weird, huh? I was thinking. The person who was a target of someone wouldn't be able to see that someone. But you saw someone's face, right? Then wasn't the part posted on the forum, huh? No idea. Then why were you able to see it at midnight, though? What the heck were they trying to do in your room in the middle of the night? No clue. Hmm. We really don't have enough info yet, huh? Maybe we should look something up on the internet. Yeah. Shino Senpai! Look at this picture on the news! What is it? Let me see. Oh my god. This? What are we looking at here? That that middle one there. This one. Burglar arrested in a condo. Last night, local police officer on patrol arrested a man who was roaming around holding a knife in violation of the Gun Control Act. He's under suspicion of burglary. I love how it says news Japanese topics. I don't know why I'm laughing at that. Okay. It reports that he climbed the condo's wall, went through the window in the middle of the night. The police found where the ongoing burglaries were. He stabbed the residents with a knife, take their money and goods, and runs away. He's a murderer. So far, a couple of victims received minor or serious injuries, and one of them is unconscious and in critical condition. Oh, so he's not a murderer yet. Ah, uh, that's his face. This person was the one who was in my room last night. <laughs> what? A burglar in your room? I'm sure. Please arrest him near your house, though. What? What did you say? I don't understand. Right, the window. I left the window open a little last night. So if you didn't scream, you might have been stabbed. Probably. <laughs> He's so nonchalant about the fact that he almost got stabbed. <laughs> this invisible somewhere in my very existence, which warns us of danger. What? I've been thinking this on. I've been thinking this way because of the rumor, but. Maybe this invisible someone is warning those who will become those who will be in danger soon. Okay, I said this would be under 20 minutes, but I think it's going to be a little bit over 20 minutes, maybe 21, just because it's the end of the chapter. I didn't expect to finish it. Okay. Uh, is a warning to those who will be in danger soon, but by being in the area where accident occurs, or being beside those who might be involved with an accident, maybe they want us to pay attention. That makes sense. The one beside you, Yuki, might have known that you would be attacked by a burglar last night. But I, on the other hand, felt weird or scared to death. I might have done something terrible to that invisible someone. Yeah. Since it was posted on the forum, I thought it was something scary too. But it might actually be a heartwarming rumor, huh?
Yeah, could be. We don't know the reason why they did it, nor what kind of person it is. But someone definitely exists, I guess. Yeah. Don't you think it's lovely that they want to help someone? Going so far as to become a ghost? Yeah. They might not be beside me any longer, but... I want to say to them thank you, and I'm sorry. Nope, nothing good ever happens in a bathroom. Ooh, this really just made me want to sleep. Well, I guess gotta, we gotta post details in the room or on the forum. What? Should've died. Ah. Uh. Hmm. What did I say? Nothing ever good happens when you're in the bathroom. Okay, this is the same thing. Then we go reply. We are the newspaper club. If you do, you feel someone is here with you. If so, believe me, be more careful than than usual for any injuries or accidents for a while, until you no longer feel anybody is with you. Do you know why? Because that someone beside you is the one who wants to see you die more than anybody else. Oh God. So it's not heartwarming at all. Akane, you were wrong. Since then I haven't seen him. But sometimes I... But sometimes I somehow turn around abruptly. Maybe that man again. I mean that invisible someone. Might be waiting patiently for me to die. Yo, is that foreshadowing? Uh-oh. I hope he's not dead. Like I said, I didn't... I've said this for... A million times already but I only got to this part like watch ads and go on to the next chapter no I don't um this is where I'm gonna end the video it's been 22 minutes man I thought it was gonna I wanted to keep it 13 minutes or so but it was just like so close you know if I paid just a little bit more last time then it would have been a little bit shorter this time too I want to keep these videos as short as possible you know um, anyway, summary, my, my thoughts, my thoughts in this chapter. I like that we we went with a different character, and my theory is that we're going to be with Shino next time, just because it just makes sense. Um, or maybe Shino, who knows, maybe Shino is the one posting these rumors on there, and causing these rumors to come to the newspaper club, who knows? So, I was watching... It's, this is kind of a tangent, but it's a little bit related. I, I just started watching Toy Month Bound Hanako-kun, and there was something in episode 2, I think, that he said that I think applies here very well. Um, he said that the apparitions, they have to abide by the rumors that are talking about them. Like, uh, spoiler alert for chapter 2, or episode 2 of th that episode, but basically there was one like rumor about this monster stealing stuff from people and if you look at it you die same thing that happened in chapter one this um this thing but it turned out that the monster or whatever is actually not it's super harmless like but and it, they don't want to be harmful but the rumor forces them to be so the main character who's a human she made changes to that rumor like make sure you have candy in your bag and then everything will work out fine Something like that. That still doesn't change the fact that if you look at it, you'll die. But <laughs> she tried. <laughs> anyway, I think that's what's applying here. Like, there's rumors, and these apparitions go with what the rumors are saying. So that girl from the chapter one only went with the rumor. She didn't want to be evil or kill people, but that's how the rumor wanted her to go. Like, I'm pretty sure that's what they explained in chapter one, but I can't remember. Um. But yeah, like. So I think my theory, this will be my theory, officially, I might change it, but I think somebody who knows all three of the members of the newspaper club is posting the rumors to give them something to do maybe, or like is planning something evil behind their back. That, that's my theory. Okay, so that's where I'm gonna end it, almost 25 minutes, but um... I'll upload this part as soon as possible. It might take a bit, like, the internet's being used, you know, YouTube is slow, but I'll upload it, and then we'll see you in the next part. Bye.